let's proceed to temperature okay so we use a liquid in glass thermometer mercury thermometer to measure uh, temperature okay and there are a few things that you need to know about the thermometer you need to know that in our lab uh, laboratories we use two types of thermometer the first one is a range from negative 10 to 110 degree uh, usually they will ask you what's the sensitivity you need to know the sensitivity uh, they will only ask you about the 10 sensitivity yeah? another one is the, from 0 to 360 degrees celsius eh? uh, also you need to know the sensitivity so for the first one the sensitivity is one degree celsius and for the second one the sensitivity will be uh, two degrees celsius that's what you need to remember in lab normally we use these two uh, thermometer the one from negative 10 to 110 and another one is 0 to 360. The first one, sensitivity 1 degree Celsius. The second one, the sensitivity 2 degree Celsius. Sometimes they may ask you why we use mercury. Why don't we use other liquids? Uh, so they, that's why you need to know the advantages of mercury. This will come out in essay questions. Eh? Advantages of using mercury in a, a thermometer. Uh, the first one is because it's a good heat conductor. It can conduct the heat to the whole mercury faster and easier yeah so it's a good conductor second it does not wet the wall of the tube it, it do not cling on the wall of the tube eh? uh, for example sir, let's say this is a thermometer and this is a wall uh, this is a tube eh? okay and uh, this is a mercury they say this is a mercury so the mercury does not stick here there's no mercury stick here okay yeah, it does not stick on the wall. If it stick on the wall, then it will make the volume here lower than what it should be. Yeah? Uh, then stick can, this will reduce the accuracy or the sense, uh, uh, this will re reduce the accuracy. But this does not happen to mercury. Yeah? So mercury does not wet the wall. So that's why that, that uh, therefore it's more accurate. Um, it can be seen easily. Silvery gray. Yeah? The color is silvery gray. It's not transparent. So compared to alcohol, alcohol is transparent. So this can be read easily. Uh, so that is the three advantages of using mercury. Yeah, make sure that you remember this. Uh, good heat conductor does not wet the wall and it can be seen easily. Then sensitivity. Uh, sometimes they may ask you how to increase the sensitivity of thermometer. Uh, if you use mercury, uh, it will be more sensitive compared to alcohol because usually we use either uh, mercury or alcohol. Eh? So using mercury is more sensitive because mercury is sensitive to temperature change just just small change only then the, it will expand or contract a lot eh? so sensitive to temperature change and it's a good heat conductor as we discussed just now and then we use a thin wall glass bulb let's say we have a mercury thermometer this is a mercury thermometer uh, this is a tube eh? and this is called the bulb This is called a bulb. Eh? Okay. Now the bulb here, the wall here should be thin. Eh? Okay. The wall here should be thin because we use this to, we, we usually insert this to the object to measure the temperature. So if it's thin, then the heat can be transferred easily into the mercury. Okay. If the wall is thin, eh? the, the heat can go in easily. But if it's thick, then it takes longer time for the heat to transfer inside. Then it, it becomes less sensitive. Eh? So if you want to make the thermometer sensitive, then the wall of the bulb here must be small, uh, must be thin. Uh, so the heat can transfer faster from the heat source into the mercury if the wall is thin. The small diameter capillary tube. Now this is called a capillary tube. Sometimes it's called a bore. It's called a bore or the tube, the capillary tube. Uh, try to use a small diameter one. Okay, this this is very big, right? The diameter. The diameter is uh, the diameter is measuring from here to here. This is called a diameter. Try to use a small diameter, because if diameter is small, then uh, uh, the the change of the, the the change of the level, okay, increase decrease. Uh, if the diameter is small, then it will increase decrease a lot when the small change of the volume. Uh, because small expansion and contraction in the mercury can cause a large change uh, in the reading.